The woman was doing housework when suddenly her feet left the ground suspended in midair. The husband heard the noise and rushed out. He saw the scene in front of him and panicked. He had never seen anything so strange. Dave immediately called the emergency services. The paramedics came and tried to pull her body to the ground. But no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't even move her a bit. The attending doctor was at his wit's end and had to keep an eye on Sarah's condition. After three hours had passed, the doctor was surprised to find that Sarah's body was levitating a few centimeters higher than before. This meant that her condition was changing and could get worse. Dave was very anxious to hear this, but he had to do his best to cooperate with the doctors. They were going to take Sarah's blood for testing first. Sarah was suspended in the ear until the test results came back. Unable to do anything, she ate and peed in there. Even at night, she could only sleep standing up with a blanket on. Despite the inconvenience of life, Sarah was very happy because during this period, she experienced the care of her family. In particular, her daughter, with whom she was usually at odds, came forward to take care of her since Sarah's test report came out. But the report showed that there was nothing wrong with her body. The doctor couldn't explain this strange phenomenon and suggested Dave to go to a specialist. Before we knew it, several days had passed. Sarah rose to the ceiling position. Experts came here after a series of measurements finally got a bad news. According to Sarah's current rate of rise, in less than three months, she will rise to a height of 1200 feet. By then, she will need not only oxygen tanks, but also adequate food and warm clothes. But what's worse is, if she doesn't find a solution during her ascent, she will break through the Kármán line and fly into outer space. And then Sarah will lose her life. And no expert can explain this phenomenon from the current scientific evidence. That means there's no cure for her. The only thing they can do is to make sure Sarah can have a good life for the rest of her days. The family was devastated by the bad news and couldn't accept it. And Sarah's eyes were red with tears. She didn't want to leave this world yet, and she couldn't let go of her family. But there was nothing she could do but accept her fate. Soon Sarah's head hit the ceiling, and her ascent did not stop. A woman has a strange disease that causes her body to rise uncontrollably. Her head had hit the ceiling, then her expression was becoming painful. The husband smashed the floor of the second floor with a hammer to make her feel better. At night, the daughter was already sleeping in the second floor room, but the mother watched her silently from the hole in the floor. Her eyes full of sadness, soon it was the next day, Sarah had already peeked halfway out of the hole in the floor. After dinner, Carly looked at the piles of plates and finally realized how hard her mother was working. She wanted to quit school and stay home to spend more time with her mother, but was severely criticized by her mother. Sarah told her not to worry about other things. Just study hard. Mother and daughter were supposed to care about each other, but her words turned out to be hurtful to her daughter. One day Carly came home from school and heard her mother wailing in pain when she entered the house. She approached the room and found her mother's feet tied with a rope. It turned out that Dave didn't want her to leave the house, so he had to tie her up. Carly saw her mother wailing in pain and rushed into the kitchen to find a kitchen knife to cut the rope but was prevented by her father. In the middle of the argument between father and daughter, Sarah suddenly let out a scream of pain. It was her ankle that had been dislocated by the rope. Carly immediately pushed her father away and cut the rope with a knife. Dave came to his senses. He did not save his wife, but brought her endless pain. A few more days passed, Sarah's body height has risen to the roof. Dave and Carly had to take the elevator to talk to her. Father and daughter had prepared plenty of food and water for her, as well as cell phones and oxygen masks. Carly also gave her mother her favorite MP3 and let her listen to songs when she was bored. Finally, she gave her mother a 20-pound school bag to carry. This would slow down Sarah's ascent. Then Carly hugged her goodbye. Dave, who had been standing silently watching the elevator slowly descend, couldn't hold back and hugged his wife for a long time. Because the three of them know that this may be the last time to see each other. As Sarah's altitude continued to rise, the environment around her became increasingly harsh. Ultraviolet rays increased. The air became thinner. It even rained sometimes. But none of this meant anything to her. Because her only pain was missing her family, she took the phone out of her pocket and called her daughter. Her first words were full of concern for Carly. She told her to wee regularly and not to stay up late. Sarah didn't say a word about her own pain on the phone. Sarah heard Carly's positive answer on the phone before she gradually felt relieved. And Carly learned it to take care of the household chores while her mother was away. Although not as good as her mother, she was trying her best to change. But then Sarah had a little accident. The woman had a strange disease that caused her body to lose gravity and float in midair. She took out her MP3 
to listen to a song to relieve her bad mood. But she couldn't hold onto her MP3 and it fell straight to the ground. Sarah instantly collapsed in the air, crying out helplessly. Suddenly, a flock of birds flew towards her and surrounded her body in the next second. Sarah couldn't help but laugh when she saw such a spectacle for the first time. The gloom she had just felt was gone at that moment. Maybe it was because she had been alone for so long that she shouted like a child in excitement, as if she was a little bird flying freely in the sky. Late at night, it rained heavily and Sarah was drenched into a drowned rat. The family living on the ground is also worried about her. Dave looked at the big hole in the roof and prayed for her silently. As time passed, Sarah lifted off to the Carmen Wine neighborhood. This is the boundary between the atmosphere and outer space. This means she doesn't have much time left to live. After much thought, Sarah removed her oxygen mask and decided to make one last phone call to her family. Carly heard the phone and rushed over, because she knew it might be the last time she spoke to her mother. Sarah told Carly on the phone, No matter how well you do on the test, you are my cry and joy. And don't be angry with your father. He is not a good communicator but he loves you very much. Father and daughter could not help but cry after hearing her words. Dave rushed to persuade his wife not to give up. And Sarah said what she wanted to say and had no more regrets. Then she asked her husband and daughter to stay away from the hole. Her husband and daughter were a little confused, but suddenly a package fell from the sky and hit the floor. Now Dave, I love you. Without the way of the backpack to hold her down, Sarah soars up and soon crosses the Carmen line and disappeared forever into outer space. Dave looked at the fallen and broken cell phone to slow down and hugged his daughter and shed tears of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> a few days later, the hole in the roof was filled, and the life of the father and daughter also restored peace. The two of them now do not fight as much as before, because they know what companionship is and appreciate each other more. This film is called The Carmen Line. It is about a person's departure, like a montage that creeps further and further away from you. Sarah's rising height represents the worsening of the disease. Dave tying his wife with a rope represents the family or friends who want to give life to a terminally ill person. But this is often to make people with terminal illnesses more painful to live. And the fall of the Walkman makes Sarah collapse, meaning she is terminally ill and can only face the disease by herself. Finally, she let go of her face mask to face death and bravely said goodbye to the world. So we should grasp the moment to cherish the family. Do not wait until the lost to learn to regret.